All right, what's going on everybody? Broken Games HDR here with another video. So we got an announcement from PlayStation. Uh, PlayStation has acquired Haven Studios, uh, the studio that is that was founded and is being directed by industry veteran Jade Raymond. I'm gonna get into Jade Raymond a little bit later, but I'm skeptical of this studio. I'm skeptical of Jade Raymond. And I'm skeptical of the game that they're working on. You know, I, I'm a very cynical person, though. You know, I I, I tend to you know um, err on the safer side of things and and just be extremely cautious than to be excited. Everybody knows that about me, right? So um, we got the the announcement. I saw the announcement on Twitter. They have uh, some information at the PlayStation blog. Let me just read quick quickly what they said. And then there's another article. <clears throat> Excuse me, there's another article explaining why PlayStation purchased Haven Studios seemingly so preemptively, so prematurely, because we know PlayStation usually has a very long dating period with studios before they actually purchase them. I mean, look how long it took them to, to finally purchase, uh, you know, some a studio like Insomniac, right? Over a decade of a long relationship. And that's how most of their acquisitions have been, you know, at least a few years, right? So let me just read this PlayStation blog. It says, uh, <clears throat> today I'm delighted to announce that Haven Studios is officially joining the PlayStation Studios. Uh, Jade Raymond brings a wealth of experience from her uh, industry achievements and an infectious passion for creating games and leadership and blah, blah, blah. Uh, we began working with Jade Raymond um, and her team early 2021 uh, when when they were on the brink of announcing the formation of Haven Studios. So PlayStation was, you know, pretty much all in um, before they even announced the studio. I mean, they are part of the reason so why this IP at least exists. I know they they helped to grow the studio since then. Um, they they're funding this new IP, which seems to have Sony like losing their mind and completely enamored, uh, because that seems to be the motivation of why they bought this studio so early without even producing anything, right? So, but that goes to the point because there's this ongoing debate about relationship and organic and all this other stuff. The way I see this this acquisition is it's pretty much almost building a studio from the ground up. That's how I see this. Because when you invest in something extremely early and you fund the first proje project and you decide to, you know, invest in it when there is no product, that's that's almost like, you know, building it from from the ground up essentially. So to me, the, the whole conversation of you know organic or, or this is something different, eh, I don't really think it's 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 you know something different than what PlayStation has done, um, only because they they're all in from from the beginning before there was a product, right? If there was like one product made and then PlayStation was like, yeah, we want to acquire you, then I could understand that. But there's nothing right now, like Bungie was probably the the strangest acquisition acquisition that they that they've made uh recently right and that's not even under sony um you know the sie umbrella necessarily but getting back to the point uh you know playstation um you know began working with them when they announced the formation before they announced uh the formation of haven studios from their first pitch we were inspired by haven's visions for creating a modern multiplayer experience that brings gamers together in positive and meaningful ways we were confident in their creative and technical expertise to deliver on such an ambitious project and were thrilled to invest in their journey developing a new original ip for playstation so everybody knows what what have i been yelling at playstation to do Create some damn multiplayer games, some first-party multiplayer games, right? That's what I've that's what I've been saying. That's what I've criticized them mostly for. That's what I've gotten backlash for for their community from the PlayStation Pro single-player community. Yes, so I'm looking forward to seeing what this game is, but I'm still skeptical. I'm still cynical because I'm like, listen, if you mean to tell me that this IP is so impressive. That Herman Holst and Jim Ryan, which seem, which you know, Jim Ryan, you know, is, is a guy that seems to be hard to impress. You mean to tell me they see they seen this game 
in early development because this isn't a game we're going to get for like a few years. So you mean to tell me they saw this game in in such an early state and they were so impressed that they were like, we need to buy them now? Now I'm a little bit like, okay, what's this game? Because I'm like, I, I, I don't know. I'm just... I'm just such a not a non-trusting person. I think that you're you're hyping this game up so much that you're willing to like buy it. I'm I'm skeptical now. I'm wor I'm I'm honestly a little bit worried now. I don't know. That maybe something's wrong with the way I think. I always think the worst. I would probably feel better about it if you didn't hype this game up, right? And I've heard like certain things about this game, such as it being. Um, I don't know. I, I've, I think I've seen it described as like this amazing and positive social uh, multiplayer game. Because I don't think I don't even think we know the genre. But I've heard certain things about this game that makes me think like it's like it's PlayStation Home or some shit. And it's obviously, well, I feel like it should be obvious that obvious that it's not. But I, I just don't know what this is it just feels like a social like experiment to me I, and i don't know i don't know there's just certain things I, i've heard I, i've read that i'm like is this even gonna be like i don't even, i'm not even sure if this is even confirmed to be like a pvp type game because when i say multiplayer game what i want is a pvp that's the type of multiplayer games i really care about PVE, nah, not not really, right? I don't really, I don't co-op and all that other stuff is cool, but what I really want is is a competitive PB, PVP game. This seems to me that it could be one of you know something more around. I don't know. I'm getting like almost like a like an MMO vibe from it. That's kind of what I'm what I'm picking up, right? Uh, but just to go on, it said we had the privilege <clears throat> of working closely with Haven. Uh, this past year and have been impressed by the studio's growth and progress uh, So now, you know practically on the anniversary of when we made this this partnership um, They're welcoming them to the PlayStation family. So now and now to the uh, the other article which is uh, the game games industry biz article uh, and this is a statement from Herman Holst, you know head, head of PlayStation Studios essentially explaining why uh, he says, you're right. We could have just carried on in the capacity of them being an, an external development partner, right? But what Haven has created is so exciting for us, there was just a desire to deepen that relationship. We have been very impressed with how Haven is coming together. It's just easier for, easier for us to invest in the team and gain more deeply the, uh, this way. It's a testament to the fact that we've been very impressed with the progress that Haven has made. They're actually exceeding a lot of the plans in, in terms of time, uh, which very rarely happens in game development. I've never heard that in game de game development where a, a, a studio is ahead of schedule. Usually studios are, are behind schedule and need more time. Um, so we thought let's invest deeply and do this properly. So listen, if this game, the way Herman Holst, and and obviously it has the backing of PlayStation execs, the way they're hyping this game, because I've never really seen them gush and you know lose their mind over a game in this manner. So if if this game is not a banger, then I know, okay, I can't trust, I can no longer trust, you know, Herman Holst. Jim Ryan and PlayStation when it comes to the evaluation of multiplayer games. I can't trust y'all no more. If this because here's the thing, right? It doesn't even necessarily have to like be a game that I let's say it comes out and it's not a game that I personally like. But I can sit back and obje objectively say, even though I don't like it, the game's still a banger. Like I hate Fortnite, but Fortnite's a banger. Fortnite rang off in these streets. We know that. Even though I hate Fortnite, I would never play it. I'd rather, like, you know, eat a jean jacket or something like that. Can't deny what it is. So I'm just saying, it, this better be a success. It better be a banger. It better resonate with gamers. Because then if, if it doesn't resonate with gamers, it doesn't connect with them, then that means you don't got your ear to the streets. You don't really know what the gamers want. So I'm just... 
I, I'm listen. When and uh, it just shows like we listen. When I don't care who it is, PlayStation, Xbox. I don't be I don't be getting on these hype trains. Okay, I'm I'm skeptical. I'm cynical with everything, everything. So and also with Jade Raymond, you know she's bounced around the industry a little bit recently with a bunch of uh, unfinished products in the last uh, couple years. Like you know, okay, sir, so her her career is pretty much she was at EA. She worked on The Sims Online as a producer. Assassin's Creed. She was a producer on that game. Assassin's Creed, uh, the first one, second one, Bloodline. Um, she was the executive producer on Splinter Cell Blacklist. Love that game. Um, Watch Dogs. She was a, obviously this is when she was at Ubisoft. Uh, Watch Dogs, Assassin's Creed, uh, Unity, Far Cry 4, um, the, uh, this game, uh, this game, The Mighty Quest for Epic Loot, and most recently, Star Wars Battlefront 2. And I think after Star Wars Battlefront 2, she, like, jumped around the industry a little bit with, like, a few projects and never got, a, got, got off the ground, I think. Um, so, you know, I'm just, I'm just skeptical and, uh, you know, I, I hope, I hope it turns out well, of, of course, and, uh. I'm just going to remain very, very skeptical, um, cautious and everything like that, right? Because it's funny. We had this conversation. I brought it up in Weapon Wheel After Dark. Weapon Wheel After Dark, by the way, you should subscribe to the Patreon. We had great converse, We have great conversations, answer a whole bunch of crazy questions in Weapon Wheel After Dark. Last, li last night was like four hours long. You know, you should check that out. Um, check out the last weapon, uh, episode of Weapon Wheel. Also... Um, I, like I said, listen, if Sony were to make a preemptive, premature move on a studio, because this is, you can consider this premature, um, and a, a very early move. I said, I think it should be slow clap if they were going to make a premature move, right? Because listen, what, what slow clap got on their hands with Sifu? Who buddy, them, them boys got them one of them things. Okay. They got one of them. Things with Sifu. Sifu is 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 a very unique property. It's in its own lane. There's nothing like Sifu on the market, as far as I know. So I'm just saying, slow clap. They they got one of them things on their hand, and I think it's it's just gonna go up from you know from here for for them. Um, you know, not only with Sifu, but if they make something so far, they've made things in that vein. Uh, first was Absolver. I'm not sure if they made a game before that. Absolver might have been their first game. That didn't ring off, but they did a, another, you know, more single player, smaller, smaller, uh, you know, more focused game. And that thing, that thing, whew, that thing took off. So I, I think slow, slow and, and I know they're gonna, you know, put out some DLCs, probably some some modes. The you know, um, the mods been going crazy with that game. So I just said, if they're going to do that, listen, man, y'all need to look at Slow Clap. Y'all, you know, y'all clearly got a relationship with them. Absolver was on, uh, play, what, was it exclusive to PlayStation or time exclusive? I'm not sure. It might be on Xbox now, you know, but they clearly have a relationship with, you know, that, that team at Slow Clap. Um, so yeah, um, those are, those are my thoughts on this. I don't, you know, want to drag this out too long. They acquired them. We'll see in a few years what comes of this. I'm gonna be disappointed if I, I, I'll still be disappointed if it's not a game that's for me because you know people thinking that just because I'm saying I want you know live multiplayer games, live service games, that means I'm just gonna play any any old genre. No, that's not it. I still have a preference. I still have a type of game that I play. I ain't gonna just play anything just because it's live service and just because it's multiplayer. So let's. Uh, I want to put that out there. But uh, let me know what y'all think about this. Hit the like button. Follow me on Twitter. Uh, um, you know, hit the notification bell so you can know anytime I up upload a video and I'll catch y'all on the next one. I'm out of here. Peace.